Hey, bro. You in a fucking yeah, Walmart? Where are you at? I don't know what's going on, man? It's not white. <laughs> How you doing, man? I wish, dude. You there, Bell? Dude, this is so far at, at this corner. <laughs> I'm trying to find a Are corner you on Wi Fi or what do you want? Or something. Mm. I'm on. Mobile. I think it's better now. Just to okay. make sure, because yeah. everyone see Bell, they don't see me. Just want to make sure. Because it looks good on my end, but I want to make sure with everyone else. Well, okay, cool. Started, so, I okay uh, what I want to first start with, guys, is DWAC today. So, I'm going to kind of talk about DWAC. I'm going to talk about a little bit of things, and I'm going to kind of pass it over to Bao, and then he could talk about everything. So, DWAC, guys, DWAC is a stock. It is Donald Trump's social media company, and it's been a very hyped, very anticipated app for a very, very long time for months and months and months. And everyone knew the date that it was going to come out. It was going to be sometime by the end of February. So what a lot of people were doing is they were buying in anticipation of the app launching. And what this turns into, guys, is a sell the new setup. So what a sell, just a brief recap of what a sell the new setup is, is basically everyone positions themselves early. It could be a news catalyst. It could be a pharmaceutical trial, whatever it is. And no matter what the result, good or bad, there is now no more forward-looking catalyst, which is going to continue to push the stock up higher. So on a scenario like DWAC, uh, it was a sell the new setup because every the educated money that bought ahead of time sold it today into the uneducated people buying it. And I posted this in MIC at 6.51 a.m that DWAC and FUN are potential sell the new setups, guys. So we were one of the first people to identify this. And even at 7 a.m., right, even at 7 a.m., I started to short it. And I posted my plan in the room that this is a sell the new setup under 100. If 100 breaks, that's where I'm going to add. And FUN is a sympathy to DWAC, which is going to be easier. So as you can see, guys, as you can see, not only did we plan our trades, We've been waiting for this trade for a very long, very long time. And I even posted the last sell, the new setup, so that everyone could recap and watch the video, you know, two hours before the market opened, guys. Yep. This is one of the big setups that we teach over at MIC, guys. So these don't come up often. When they do, you got to take advantage of it. The, 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 only, the hardest yeah. part of this trade is waking up. <laughs> That's the only thing. Waking up, um, now I'm over in the West Coast time. So by the time I and was at 4 a.m., the stock was at $138, I got guys. I, and right now it's trading at like 88 89 So someone that woke up even earlier than me might have gotten an even better entry on the stock, right? Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, guys. Okay, so so once again, once again, it's a bit, this, is, this is one of those things that's kind of reverse of – logic that in trading you know you want to sell when everyone else is trying to get hyped right so right now is hype your mom heard about it your dad heard about it. they're telling everybody like hey this stock is uh being pumped right now by donald trump is being it's being uh touted there's a new app coming out i'm gonna invest long but then you take a look you, uh, scroll back to a, a month chart alex you'll see so if you notice this, these guys have been buying this thing up with the anticipation. So this is like this works in my opinion. Sell the news yeah, works for around ninety sure. percent of the time. The hard, the hardest part is to avoid the FOMO on the way up. If you avoid the FOMO on the way up, you will, you know, have mental and and financial capital to actually do this. So so Alex woke up early. Uh, we all knew that it's going to launch today because uh, actually yesterday. Correct. They tweeted about it, right? So yesterday, I think, yeah, we talked about it in the room actually yesterday. So, but the, but the problem is once again, you know, you, you have to get up really early. And even if you got up early, you're shorting hundred dollars, you get blown out at one thirty. So, so timing is very crucial in these kind of plays. You rather, in my opinion, wait for the top to be set, which we talk about all the time, because it was still front side at one thirty. To be honest, uh, the guys that are chasing at one thirty. I'm pretty sure that they started around hundred bucks. 
And then correct. They were, they were and for me, up, like, I was not even out. awake at that time. What I waited was until it broke a hundred. So once it broke a hundred to me, that was an indicator and a signal that it was going to go lower. And the thing about a sell the new setup, guys, is it does not come around very often, like Bao says. It comes around a lot less than the first red day setup. But you could argue and say that it is just as powerful as a first red day setup, right? And that is why I was so interested in the stock. That is why I posted the video lessons beforehand so that you guys could watch pre-market. And, you know, today is pretty much – I'm still in a little bit, but today's pretty much my biggest day of the year on that stock. So let me show you guys that as well. So let me show you guys my trades. So DWAC, this is where I shorted, guys. I shorted right over here around 105. I added when 100 broke. I covered some on the dip around 90, and then I've been reshorting and kind of holding it. And again, guys, I'm not going to share the final number yet, but today is my biggest day of the year because, again, this is the sister, the brother, the child to the first red day setup, guys. And that is why I love this setup because – it is just, it's like Bao said, it has a 90% win rate, you know? So another thing to look for, guys, this is a free uh, tip for you guys. Take a look at the chart, the buildup, the run up. If the stock is flat and the news comes out, it's going to go up. You, you right. can't just short just because it'll sell the news, right? You have to take a look at the chart to see uh, the movement up. So there is basically all of the news is priced into the stock. That's what we say. That's, that's the term that we use, priced into the right. stock. So all the run have have been already priced into the stock. Unless they announce something Correct. brand new that no one anticipated, then you cannot right. really short it. So imagine if Donald Trump says, okay, we, we took that, but now we're going to start live streaming every yep. day on that on that exactly. platform, right? You're, you're fucking screwed. If you short exactly. it, you're fucking screwed. So nothing new. Nothing new came out today. There is no today further catalyst to hype up the stock the is the problem, guys. So when this catalyst came out and everyone's like, oh, my God, I got to buy, I got to buy, you know, the stock almost doubled in the past month in anticipation of this catalyst coming out, guys. Correct. And so you pretty much could have, uh, if you live in the West Coast, I mean, East Coast, you could have woke up and uh, – Paid your membership right there, and but if you miss that, so the easier trade once again is I, I for me I would I had fancy orders out, but it wasn't that much size on DWAC because DWAC has always yeah. been trappy kind of stock. But P H U N, that is the stock that if you woke up and you can load up because it barely it barely goes up, but when it goes down it goes down a lot, and that's what we call a simple play because DWAC is the, the head of the snake. So DWOC is the main play. The, everything else is sympathy. What sympathy does is it kind of rides the coattails of the main stock. And then when it goes down, it goes down much more because there's really no reason for that stock to go up other than Correct. it's exactly. sympathy. Exactly. And fun, down. if it bounced, that would have been the best one of the day because, again, that one had no catalyst. It had no reason. It was just up pretty much for no reason. So those sympathy plays, again, it's been a long time since we had a sell the new setup. So it's not as fresh in people's minds, and that is why we post the videos, and that is why we mention it pre-market at you know, 7 a.m., 6.50 a.m. So you have two and a half hours to review that setup, to plan that setup, and if you just focus on that setup, it was big money today, man. Correct. And if you missed this one, study for the next time, guys. We're going to repost Exactly. We're going to go back to this one too, guys. That's, that's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so oh one question guys that uh, someone said man i've been getting a lot of messages like is this using you on instagram yeah. any accounts yeah we only have one account guys why would we have five my instagram we're not gonna dm you about bitcoin we're not gonna do any of that stuff guys so i'm gonna tell you right now man if you, you can't figure out who's a scammer how are we gonna decipher yeah. what stocks to trade right <laughs> so but at the same time man we're telling you right now um the easiest way to trade guys the easiest way to trade is to Pretty much be patient, man. And if you want to cheat, to be honest, if you want to cheat, join MIC and, and just copy our trades. I don't want to say copy our trades, but we put out all the watch lists. You decipher which one you like the most, okay? Um, I, mean, I don't know what else to tell you. The market is very, very difficult now for some people. The reason it's difficult because there's not many opportunities. And when there's not many opportunities, people become very impatient and they, they can't take it. They, people know. That, there are a lot of trades that I know DWOC today was going to launch. 
But they, for some reason, they're shorting last week. And now they're getting blown out, right, guys? So you know, the key is the patience. And I missed that play completely because I didn't wake up on time. I had my fantasy orders out, but they were a little higher than the bounces. So I, I missed it. I mean, making $0 is still better than being trapped. Um, next time, you know, the thing is it was in range most of the morning. There's really no money to make on it. There's more uh, risk than reward when, I, when, when it was at 90 something dollars. And the thing bucks, is, right? guys, I, I can't short yes, that. the market so. has been slow. But as traders, we're basically just waiting for our setups to come, right? So if I was the type of trader that all I did was wait until a first red day or a sell the news trade came up, yeah, I might not be trading every day, but you better believe that I'd be having, it'd be making up for everything else. So for the past two months, we haven't had a first red day. We haven't had a sell the news day. I haven't really been making much money. But when my setup was there today, when my opportunity was there today, you know, I capitalized on it and it made up for all those past months of nothing plus more. Correct. And these are all planned trades, guys. Alex didn't wake up in a wing it. We didn't wing it. You know, the, there's a couple of components to that, right? Luck is, you know, when when uh, when you um when your planning meets your opportunity, right, guys? So for me, I was I consider myself unlucky because I didn't wake up in time. That, that's the only thing. But I'm not unlucky because I wasn't planned. But you have to have both, guys. You have to have planning and you have to be ready to make that decision when it comes. So um, if you're new to trading, guys, this is a kind of scary setup too because you're like, wow, the news should rip it up. It's Donald Trump, a billionaire stock and all that kind of stuff. But then the way you get confidence, you take a look at the past history of all these types of setups. And 90% of the time, they will go down once these setups are, are hyped up well before. Correct. And guys, this one down. setup, right? This one setup could have paid for your entire membership. I had someone ask if we're still, you know, running our President's Day sale. But, I mean, we could do it for one more day. And the promotion is very, very good, guys. So, basically, if you sign up for an annual membership – I am going to send you one of the same exact monitor that I used to trade. It's a 32 inch Samsung screen. And if you guys sign up for lifetime, we're going to send you the same $2,000 laptop that Bao uses. So we are going to give you all the tools and all the equipment that you need to be a successful trader. All you have to do is sign up, man. So if you guys are interested, if you guys want to do it, we'll extend the presence. They sale one more day. All you have to do is email Tosh at my investing club.com. I'll post it right here. Or you can, you can text on the numbers. On yep. So, I mean, guys, I don't know anyone IP else that's giving you a free stuff. computer monitor. I don't know anyone else that's giving you guys a free laptop. We're probably not going to be doing a promo like this again. But, I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. You sign up for the membership. Look at this, guys. There's no fucking brainer. Look at this. You guys want to make fucking $68,000 in one day? I, mean, I don't know about you guys, bro. But, fuck, this is my entire year. Someone's entire year in one fucking day, right? And that is because this is a setup that we were prepared for. Okay, so, I mean, it's up to you guys. If you guys want to be the guys that are buying these PRs in the sell the news day, so be it. But we are here. We are educated. And thank God I was prepared. And I had, thank God, my best day of the year so far. Cool. So I'll see yep, you guys in a few. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. All right, guys. Yeah, he made a lot more than I thought. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Good job, bro. Yeah, man, I woke up with huge FOMO. I saw that stock. It was 135 bucks when I woke up. It was like, like 95 bucks. I was like, dude, I was waiting for the balance to the one one hundred and five. So my, I was sitting at near the one hundred and four dollar line. Uh, PHUN, I was sitting a little higher than uh, when I woke up. PHUN, man, it's like it barely bounced. So what can you do right now? So the best thing the next time I'm going to do is maybe wake up early. You know, I was not prepared to wake up early today. I had thought that usually these things have one bounce in them, but today they didn't have any bounce. That's because the market sucked. Not, but the thing is, it, it, it kind of today, it seems to me today kind of, it feels different in terms of small cap overall because things are actually bouncing and zombie. I-N-D-O. There's all these stocks. N-D-C-T. That is, that, that we have not seen in the past two weeks, guys. So I think the small cap is back. And right now, people say it's low, but you know what? The, the best thing to do when things are slow is to learn, guys. This is your opportunity to learn new strategies. If you are a long buy trader, you've been sitting around for a long play, why, why not try to learn how to short? Or, because not, you don't have to short. The learning 
the concept of shorting helps you become a better long and biased trader and vice versa. If you're a short seller, you don't know how to go long. Just maybe try to go long using the first bounce type of strategies that we employ, guys. So um, what else do we have here, guys? So tomorrow, well, well we, Alice is sending that one, um, that deal. So text us if you want to join. This, today is the best day to join because you know what? And he had that free laptop and free monitor. I, I don't know why Alex gave it away, but he was just feeling very generous. Uh, I'm not involved in that promo at all. Um, but you know what? Um, tomorrow, guys. So let me tell you what our, our calendar of education is at MIT before I log off, okay? It's because things are slow, man. People want, I mean, this is your perfect time to go on vacation or to learn. So every Monday at around 11 a.m. in the morning, Alex does his YouTube live. I do my Instagram live on every Tuesday around 11 to 11.15. Probably around 11.15. Uh, and then Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. market uh, 7 p.m. market time, Joe Kelly does his large cap webinar. Wednesday, Tosh does his um, new member orientation as well as another webinar on Wednesday around 2 p.m. And then on Thursday, uh, Aloha Trader does his strategy webinar at, at 7 p.m. at night. So as you see, I, I, the whole goal when we started MIC was not to be a, just a alert service. We, do not, we don't alert. You see what we do? We actually gave you the, the, the mindset of the trade, the strategy of the trade. So now we have just taught you on a very powerful setup called Sell the News. Okay, now the next time you spot a setup like that, you don't need to be alerted. You say, oh, I, I remember MIC guys talking about sell the new setup or the first rate they set. So those are the things that you're trying to learn. Giving you entries and exits is only going to hinder your progress, in my opinion. Teaching you how to fish is better than giving you the fish. But not only give you, we actually give you a fish too, man. We actually give you the entries and exits. Uh, the lines, but not, not we, but we don't do the alerts as in, oh, I bought this, I sold this at this price. Because all that does is make you copy like other uh, alerting chat, or, uh, chat room services, right, guys? So, so education is, the, in my opinion, right now is the best time to join. Things are super slow, which gives you the time to learn, guys. Because when things are heated up, you are going to be, if you're a new trader, if you are a new trader in a hot market, you're dead. You are dead. You have, it's so damn fucking fast that you have no idea what you're doing, okay? People want fast markets, but fast markets, hot markets, exciting markets, quote unquote exciting, are the markets that people blow up in, okay? I love boring ass fucking money, guys. I love waking up and being fucking so bored out my mind thinking four grand a day is so little, two grand a day, where I say it's so pathetic. I hear MIC guys saying all the time, Today is such a pathetic day. I'm only up $1,000, $2,000. But think about that. That's insane kind of money to work for one hour a day. Boring money is where it's at, guys. So I don't care what other people are telling you. Exciting stuff is for pumpers and all that stuff, guys. So keep it simple. This is the time to learn when things are fucking slow because it's going to get crazy, man. Putin, Ukraine, all these things are going to cost. The markets will be volatile. And volatility is where we make our money. And being able to learn how to long a stock and also short a stock is a huge skill. Look at Alex say he shorted the stock. On the way, he could have went long the stock. So this is the time for you to try something. Who knows that you could be the best short seller in the world? You don't know that until you try it, right, guys? So use this opportunity when it's slow to learn. We have free YouTube videos on our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, we may not have pretty girls, <laughs> in it or fancy watches or fancy cars but we're all about the education guys and i think that's that to me is the most important thing it's boring as hell education is boring as hell it does, you know but you know you have to do that guys so that you can make what did alex put today like almost 70 grand a day damn that's a pretty good job bro well i'm sitting here kind of pissed off that i didn't wake up early enough but there was no way i'm waking up at three i'm over here in the west coast but you guys okay we'll see you guys tomorrow on the um on on Tosh's webinar and text Tosh, email Tosh. If you don't know where to go to get our email or our phone number, then I'm sorry, man. Maybe you shouldn't be trading if you can't even look at the profile in our Instagram to find the number to, to text us. Okay, guys. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys back in the room.